And hello there. This is Izix with another episode of Crusader Kings 2, Dragon for the Dragon Throne, where we are Emperor Long Octavius of the Empire of the Dragon. Or at least one of them. Not the Jade one, but the one that's based in India. That has a couple uh, of uh, tributary states in uh, these dudes and these dudes. Who, uh, unfortunately, there's still the Umiads left in the southern bit of India. There is also some Seljunks out uh, over here. Uh, the Byzantine Empire. Also, we are two years old. Also, a lot of our vassals hate us because our dad sucked. <laughs> uh, how, how bad was it? Well, there's, uh, there's, there's a reason there's a lot of people in prison right now. Um, this guy, he doesn't much care for me for various reasons, including, um, you know, so vice, royalty, vice royalties minus 29, but also minus 21 because he hated my dad. So, <laughs> he also wants to see it on the council, so uh, there is that. Um, let's just check out our factions at this point, and, uh, we'll maybe, uh, start, uh, sniffing around. Uh, is there any, you know, uh, non-Vice Royals left at this point? Uh, da -da -da. that's, uh, independence. You know, Vice Royals, they want to be independent. That gives, man. Uh, my Vice Royals, all right, there is a couple of Dukes here. Uh, the Gouliot Raj, potentially. Um, potentially put some of these guys in prison. Hmm, and my council would approve. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. But uh, because I'm so young and my council is normally in charge, there's going to be some issues perhaps with, you know, getting things redistributed as far as things after the uh, the fight. So instead, I'm going to send my army down here. I'm not going to declare war on the Umiads. But I want to do some stuff. Uh, let the defensive pact opposing me. Yeah, well, I guess, I guess if they suddenly leave the defensive pact by... Uh, my, my council allows me to declare war, which I need to not be bankrupt for. Uh, <laughs> now what do you want? My court, yeah. Um, she's got the lover's pox, so sure, <laughs> take her away from me. <laughs> All right, uh, we're uh, losing a fair bit of money, probably because we're trying to regroup, recover our uh, our uh, standing army here. King Laxminath, uh, seen dev of the Goshi Kingdom, is a year's the title of Kingdom of Newborn from King Yan Devi of the, the Purifier. So she's in my prison, and um, so is he. So they fought a war over some stuff while in my own prison. <laughs> oh man, this game sometimes. Um, defense Pact, it's died from the class. In the case of the flu. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So our threat's actually almost down under 50. Pindila. Left the defensive pact. Who are you? Tibet. Okay. Uh, left the defensive pact. Cool. So if I wanted to, like, go fight those guys, then I could. And I could do that right now. Uh, Vice Roy uh, Chandra Mukhavarman, the second of the Gold Parade Kingdom, has used the title of Duchy of Kamarupangara. I think I got that right. From Count Dharmapala of Sirhata. Say that all ten times fast. I dare you. Um, just because I don't know the language does not mean it's actually, like, terrible. No, I'm not used to pronouncing these words, you see. My prisoner, Prince Santideva Dharmapala of the Kamarapa, is uh, complaining about his dark cell. Well, he's not my direct vassal, so... Um, hmm... Let him rot. <laughs> Could throw more people in the oubliettes, but you know. Uh, just people are joining the defensive packs again, as you do, as you do. Hmm. I get this under 50%. <laughs> I have to just fight the Muslims over uh, Sri Lanka here. If I get even further down, like 5%, which might happen some <laughs> some distant universe, uh, distant century. Uh, and that is also an option. Hmm. Alright, my army is down here now. My army is big and large. Huge and large, in fact. And it is uh, growing at 156 soldiers a month. Well, I'm going to turn on the looter, and we're going to go looting. Sure, there's a little bit of plague over here, but, you know, what's a little plague between friends? Alright, um, do I want to sit around for this? Sure, there's a lot of money to be made here. Just take a few months. Hmm. That's packed, posing me. And uh, that might slow down some of the uh, recuperations here. Which might mean I get more money in total. 
Joint defense of Pact opposing me. Oh no. Who cares? Oh, these guys, they had the gall to declare war on me, so I figure this is all fair. All right, uh, Lemmy, my nephew, it's time for you to get educated. Uh, you're going to learn to manage a, a realm. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Mm, that's a pact opposing me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're like, oh, jeepers, there's a giant army here. And I'm like, yeah. Mm, higher vice royalties. We're actually getting positive money for once. Neat. <laughs> Only recuperating uh, 82 soldiers a month. Uh, I was formed an alliance with King Polavira of the Rakututa Kingdom. Coo coo coo. Ba -da -da. Excellent. Tagadur has been sieged, and we took 88 bucks from it. Nice. Alright, this next one I'm going to go and assault. Excellent. So we lost a couple hundred guys. And, uh. I'm going to check my message settings here. All right, uh, pause the game when I complete sieges, please. There we go. I also gain some more cash. Let's go and salt some more. Excellent. Another pile of money. And uh, we can probably wait for this next one here. And this will uh, allow us to extract the rest of the money from the uh, county here. And we'll just slowly go around to each of these in turn. And uh, slowly up our bank account. <laughs> oh. Which is going to be raiding and pillaging for a little while. Hope you guys are having a quality day. My day's been pretty good so far. Not enough writing uh, yet, but uh, still working on the script for my next uh, essay video. Ah, uh, here hard at work, increasing infrastructure, and getting people to work harder. Uh, cool. But what does that mean, really? It's inherited barony of Medapri, per from Baroness Lady Person. Uh, executes. Oh. <laughs> There's people executing? There's people trying to murder me? Why are people trying to murder me? And to do known plots. Plots, plots, plots. Plots within plots, man. I can claim. Hmm. I probably can claim on my kingdom. No. All right, all right. Well, whoever's trying to murder me is probably... Oh, this guy. Well, I guess I could um, use this as an excuse to do some, some house cleaning. Um, I cannot imprison him. He needs to be proven by counsel, unfortunately. Um... Can I imprison this guy? I could. Where, where is he based out of? He's based out over here. Well, Mr. Wei, um, how about, um, no? I'd like to throw you in prison, please. Oh no, you have raised up your flag in rebellion. Well, I've, I've counter rebellion here. <laughs> Just gonna plop in a couple thousand army, you know, thousand dudes. You're, uh, your pitiful existence will be uh, coming to an end pretty soon here. Uh, remember, it's been looted. Excellent. Now everything here is looted. And everything here is awesome. I'm going to take the remaining money. I'm going to take the money and perhaps even run. All right. And it is now thoroughly devastated. Excellent. And do, -do. Yeah. Everything's on fire, man. Hmm. No hospitals. Yes, uh, level two hospital. I should maybe look into uh, building more hospital stuff because there could be a black plague or something like that that comes through and visits me at some point. And it do. How is my hospital right now? My sick house, disease resistant, can be pretty cool. Uh, Temple of Union, Karma, Karma, Prestige, Ecology, Spread Rate. Eh, not so bad. Chapel, disease resistance. I think um, just building this might be a good idea. We'll do uh, some other stuff later. Yes, getting some uh, technological points would be kind of nice. Especially military ones at this point. So if we can't, you know, rightly uh, deal with the, uh, the the Emperor of China, 
And perhaps we can uh, out-tech them. It's uh, been looted. Excellent. Let's destroy the trade post. Very cool. Go ahead and uh, squeeze that. Next one we got to wait around for for a little while. So we're over here. Well, well, well. We'll just sort of hang out. Uh, Smuggler's Ring has been uh, taken out of Penugu... Penugoda? Uh, it's been destroyed. No more smugglers there. Why are they smuggling things? Don't they know that the, only the best cheeses are allowed in India? And thus they don't really need to smuggle other cheeses? Why Why am I talking about cheeses? I don't know. Hmm. No longer. Oh, my, my dude's gone. Hmm. I need, I need nor, new court position. Is there anyone who's mildly competent at this? And uh, you know stuff, so you're probably okay. Uh, <laughs> I need a new uh, court chaplain. Preferably one who likes me. Um, this guy likes me, so uh, that works. And uh, we're gonna have him uh, research the cultural texts. And by the way, how is my council? They, they generally approve of me. Um, you know, there's some uh, glory hounds and pragmatists and things like that, but you know, that's how it goes. All right. Hmm. Um, still going to hiding. Uh, why? Is this guy still trying to murderate me. Just double plus ungood. But uh, thankfully, perhaps soon, perhaps even now, uh, we can declare victory and put this guy in jail forever. Yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. Hmm. I could even, um, I don't know, uh, do uh, a replace sort of thing with this dude. Uh, he really, really didn't like my predecessor. Hmm. So uh, this might be one of those situations where... Uh, He's a mayor, so we will just generate a new guy, so... Uh, I could just execute him. No one will care. I could banish him. Does he have any money? He has 120 bucks. Um, I think execution would be safer. He's trying to murder me, after all. Hmm. I, I've successfully hanged him. He's just hanging out, man. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. So that should take care of that little murder me problem. It's good. There's all those people that were interested in murdering me, of course. That, that's a problem, but... You know. Um, the Witch Hunters is the title. Oh, we've got a Witch Hunter on our, on our case here. We've been building barracks, apparently. Um, is there anything else we can build here? We can build some stables. Some horsies. Nay and stuff. Nay, I say. Now, these guys are uh, fairly rich overall. I'm going to get like a thousand bucks out of them before I'm done. Um, come across your region, uh, CUNY, getting some fresh air in the balcony. Um, um, I think I, I don't want my mother dead. She's my spy mistress, uh, spy master, uh, empress um, uh, of, of the of the empire, uh, and uh, also regent. So um, I think I'm gonna be good. It's like, mother, you better not betray me. I could have killed you. I, I wounded you horribly, of course. Um, at the very least. <laughs> hmm. do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. Negotiate with this guy. But why? Why? Can I just ignore him? Maybe. Hmm. Virgin Holy War for Fars. Oh, yeah. Fighting that stuff. Good stuff. Lose completely destroyed construction of a trade post in um, Chomela Dam. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, all right, uh, what's next? Um, could probably do some stuff here. Got some prisoners. Uh, do -do -do. Go ahead and assault. Excellent. 148 bucks. Nice. Next one is a temple. We're gonna go and assault that as well. Uh, the next one's a town. These, town. these guys, these towns and things like that have tons of people. What gives, man? Um, Siege of Neta Pintam, yes. Um, I think what do I want to do here? I'm gonna go and assault. Cool, cool, cool. And, of course, one more time. One more time. 
I want to celebrate one more time. Excellent. And thus, that is complete. Alright, so that's burning, that's burning. All the good stuff's burning. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you, in fact. Alright, uh, that is good. Remember, I'm trying to um, build up my own uh, levies and things like that first, and then we'll worry about other stuff. Um, getting more money would be nice, too. I think uh, just having more cavalry would be good. First step. Then we'll worry about you know, other options. Um, I think having more morality in my armies would be good. Good, good, good. I'm using an army to get more army. Ho oh, ho! That's how it works in the end. Raiders! Uh, raiders? Raiders. Don't want to negotiate with him, though. Go away. Hmm. So I guess, what's the general plan for this episode? I don't think I got one. I think the main one is just to grow older. <laughs> so I have more control again. Uh, expanded sick house. Excellent. Um... What, what, what can we do here now? Uh, unlocked a few more things. Uh, separate wards would be necessary. Uh, medical Academy Observatory. And a library could be kind of cool. Technology spread rate increase. Yes, it's like a laboratory where we experiment on the sick. Uh, that's kind of kind of nasty, actually. Why are we doing that? Are we the real monsters? Probably. My prisoner, count this guy. Um... How about Zubliet? Because <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I can press some king, uh, claims, apparently. Uh, claim Sinop. Byzantine Empire. Could do some great conquests. They are pretty great conquests, after all. I uh, need a bit more karma. Which hopefully will have a nice long life in order to generate that. And... Cathpid Kingdom cannot because of my council. We don't got a valid CB apparently. Not sure how it works where we have a CB but not a CB. Hmm. Then um, again, he's also our, our dude, so. If we ever broke off that relationship, you know. Alright, so we did a thing. Uh, success, we've really acquired a bunch of prisoners. Maybe I should start uh, ransoming some of these folks here. Some of them might actually be worth something. 98 bucks. 94 bucks, actually. To do. There we go. I'd like to get some, like, um, artifacts here. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, on pause here. And we're going to maybe start looking at people that have not been here for very long. Who are you? I don't know. I don't really care. Not been here for very long and who are ransomable. Excellent. Doo -doo -doo. Yep, of course, it changes the ordering here for no good reason. Yes. Auto save. Magical auto save. The traveler from the east reaches your court along with his personal bodyguard. Reading from a scroll, he states that the em great emperor of China demands a tribute of a thousand heavenly horses from your lands. Um. I do like getting grace. Hmm. So I would like them to, um... Hmm. Don't want to send an artifact. Um, to do, I would like to request an invasion of somebody. Yes. Perhaps the Byzantines would be good. <laughs> and do, 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 do. We are uh, presently having a golden age. Um... Sure... They'll go massively in debt for you. <laughs> and then we get we instantly get all the bad stuff. Don't worry, we'll be out of debt soon. Hmm. Or will we? Thankfully, assaults don't cost money here, other than rebuilding the army. Uh, There's another siege, another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. Boink. Good, good. All right. One more on the mainland, and we'll uh, try a little bit over here, but I think there's rules that... I don't raid very often, so I think there's uh, some things that uh, make it more impractical. All right. Uh, this guy, yeah. Go ahead and ransom that guy. 
and ransom this lady. Then move this guy, maybe. Alright, um... Okay. Our prisoner's Count uh, Sovideva of Menya Kaheta is complaining about his dark cell, etc., etc. But he's just a small child of, who's older than me, like a decade. And it's two person diplomacy in prison. Um, I think I'm just going to throw him the oubliette. <laughs> the sooner he dies, the better. Ho oh, ho! I remember, guys, this is me playing as the most ter terrible of people in this game. Hmm. Excellent. Well, uh, betrothal. Uh, my, uh, the, my commander and uh, my niece can get married. Um, matrilineal? Alright, do the thing. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm gonna keep up with the ransoms. Uh, and, uh that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, three more days. Excellent. As I order the assault, we'll uh, ra do some more ransoms. Like this girl. She seems friendly. We are now back to positives. Everyone work harder. Alright, and we now loot it again. Again, again, and again. And another ransom. Good, good, good. Alright, um, now another young person. They don't need to grow up in my prison. Hmm. Um, I believe that one of your vassals could be discouraged from associating with spiritual factions that the proper leverage is obtained. How do you wish to proceed? Um, Obligate doesn't much care for me, honestly. Hmm. Uh, I do got a lot, a lot bigger army than he does. There's that. Um, hmm. Doesn't have good intrigue. I have s terrible intrigue as well, but mom's mom's on the case, so um, I'm going to try to hmm. I, I think uh, I think he's going to be uh, outdoing me by a certain percentage here, 35, hmm. 13 to 21. I think I need to threaten this guy. Excellent. That's the only option that makes any sense, as far as the uh, raw numbers are concerned. I have acquired more prisoners. Um, yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, not going to be associating. Other good stuff's happening. Assault, assault, assault. All right, cool. And uh, we have now successfully done a lot of stuff, and they are holding on to a giant army right now. Do I wish to destroy it? Um, event spawned. Okay. Hmm. They're more beefy than I realized. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like uh, destroying my uh, retinues right now, so I'll... I shall retreat. Another envoy from China arrives at your court. He tells you that he is himself is a gift, a token of gratitude to the emperor, and that he is an excellent governor of trade if you need his services. Alright, um, gain 100 grace. Can muck the stables or a polite little decline the uh, offer. And two appearance to the court. Uh, trade value plus 10, trade route income. And gain 100 grace. I'll, I will accept him. Hmm, excellent, excellent, excellent. And to do is more ransoms. I got a lot of people to ransom after all. Excellent. We'll be about done with people that have any interest in ransoming. <laughs> May you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. Um, and um, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> and my. Uh, my blinds in the other room are clattering a lot, uh, a bunch because there's a, uh, 
some wittiness here. All right, so those guys sufficiently hate me. I could go raiding and pillaging over here. I don't necessarily want to move my army all the way over. Yeah, about that. Go and have them uh, return to the capital for the time to time being in Minapore. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, people, uh, you know, the neighbors are starting to make noise too. Hope you guys aren't hearing all this here. It's like screaming children time suddenly. So, you know, the uh, new apartment complex I uh, live in that now uh, has a um, open outside stairway sort of situation for the uh, you know, get to the various levels. Except we uh, got rid of the rubber barons, uh, and so uh, sometimes uh, the uh, the neighbors have their kids just sort of run around there because it's outside and near. So, <laughs> uh, inherited the Duchy of Lahore. I'm Duke this guy. Alright, um... Lahore. This guy. Prison. There's another... Yeah, that's, that's the same guy. Um, or the other dude. The other dude. Um, do, 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 desires that. Too many held duchies. Um, how about I grant you that very Lahore you've been looking for? Ho ho. There you go, man. Now you kind of like me. If barely. I need a new commander. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause while I do my decision here. Um This guy's okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, uh, our threat is at fifty one percent. Yippee. But we're gonna let it drop further. Love the pack. Join the pack. Love the pack. Uh, got some stables. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Don't got money for them, though. Hmm, I'm looking forward to the day of tormenting Alsi with name-calling and kicks when he came up to me and gave me a sweet beat. I could kick his butt. I'm um, come rivals. Um, gain two diplomacy, and I will stop harassing him. So if I want a rival that might try to murder me at some point, yeah, I'll go kick his butt. Otherwise, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some diplomacy, get people to like me more. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. That means more armies for me to crush my enemies with. <laughs> um, how's the factions? <laughs> He's vice royals, man. Like, yes, we want to become independent because reasons. Yeah, you desire Mao. That's that's not how it works around here, guys. But it's time for me to get to my education. I'm actually fairly well uh, learned at this point. Hmm, I could become a steward, or I could uh, try to become a diplomat or intrigue. Or I could uh, just try to keep boosting that uh, education uh, stat here, uh, learnings. But I think, I think for the, uh, the 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 a lot of the moving forward, going more uh, etiquette and things like that might be the uh, better way to go here. Uh, which one is timid learning, diplomacy? Hmm. I feel which one's better for going full diplomat. I think being able to not be murdered as well might be the way to go. So we're going to go for etiquette here. <laughs> going to have an elaborate court life and uh, things will be great. Mm -hmm. By great martial ability, I round up excuse rubber bands. Hooray! Hmm. Uh, training grounds. Been built. Hmm. How old are we now? We're now six. We've gone from two to six. There the barony of Kashipur from Baron Wu. Cool, cool. Need a new commander. On pause. Moral defense is good. Especially for fighting China. Hmm. Raiders have done a thing. Hmm. Let's send a eunuch. Set a eunuch in the last 20 years. Set a concubine as an adult under the age of 45. 
desired by the emperor. Tributary. That can't be an emperor, so there's that. <laughs> From one emperor to another. Uh -huh. So this is no longer my, my dude person here. Interesting. I need a new court chaplain. Somebody who's good at the job. And, um... It's a, a yes man. I guess we don't got any of those. Um, glory hand, though. Yeah, it's good enough, right? And go and um, research the cultural techs. So how is my tech right now? I could up my siege equipment or I could up my heavy infantry. I think, as much as I love getting my uh, cavalry up, that is very, very tempting. And I need to get, uh, I want to get this up before I push up the heavy infantry. Because I got so many cavalry. Uh, Thicken has, uh, has come to get my help today. We are going to cut down some trees. Very hard work, he says. May you gain indolent or... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Do I want to become indolent? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, Alright, so now I'm a little... Uh, this is very versed in any kind of exertion, be it mental or physical, can develop into charitable, slothful, or gluttonous. Uh, uh, seemed worried and brought me some tea. I have to think it, uh, yeah, drink it to get better. All right, and do, or I could just sort of like, you know, get some, uh, maybe I should help him. I think I'm going to go in just to help him. Having more people liking me is all good. It was a light tormenting Julie, calling him Julie the cowardly chicken and other epitaphs. Um, if that's, and, uh, and if that didn't work, punches, kicks, or destroying his things. I'm one hellion of a kid here. Uh, Julie, uh, was pr easy prey until he punched back. Oh, no, my nose. You'll pay for this. Um, random jerchin kid. <laughs> Alright, uh, defensive pact. News from China! Rumors the military might of the Zound is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. And what seems like brief negotiations, Chief Nishkapaz of Chuvash has peacefully signed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. The courtiers whisper that they can only hope that the relationship between uh, Chief and the illustrious emperor be a fruitful one. Now, where is this guy? Alright, so that's not so bad. It's still ridiculous that yeah, these guys um, are uh, part of the Western Protectorate. <laughs> uh, uh, vassal swarm there. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Tributaries all the way to Europe. Alright, um, so be it. Hello, Holy Roman Empire. Have you gone Jewish again? Oh, man. That was such a good time. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, unpause for a little while. Build up our cash reserves. And think about our retinues. Um, I would like some more horsies, please. There we go. And maybe... Maybe some uh, shock troops. Yes. Uh, the peasants have uh, started to respect my rule again. Coo, coo, coo. Oh no, we got a peasant revolt. Um, where are these peasants? They're over here. How do I wish to deal with them? I think I shall summon up an army out of nowhere and then uh, march down their face and then um, do all sorts of unfortunate things to them. And also maybe call them names like Doo Doo Head and Stupid Pace. <laughs> all right, uh, that should be more than enough to uh, take care of them. I'm going to go ahead. Where are you going? You're going to Moltan. So let's go and send these guys here. Why are you going to Moltan? I don't know. Because there's an army there you could fight? Probably. Alright. Uh, there's another army to fight. Stable's been built. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Expand my personal reserves. Hmm. Look, the city of Milwat. From Lana. 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 Alright, is there any more uh, ransoms I can do? Oh, I can. Excellent. You are there. You get to be ransomed. Congratulations. You get out of prison. Unlike a lot of other people. Ho ho. Um, yes, 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 yes. Alright, so most of the uh, prisoners we acquired recently are now out of prison. The rest of them will probably just sit in prison. Maybe I'll marry them off to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> Including possibly me. All right. Uh, Battle of Ashkan. All right. The peasant revolt is over. 
That means we can send our uh, levies back home. Uh -huh. There you go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think I'm going to build a little bit of fortifications here and there. Just to um, make some of these territories less inviting for a giant uh, death army. Oh, training grounds could be good too. Yeah, I think that might be priority here. The elephant has gone crazy. He's running amok in town outside the castles. or killed people. Um, let's try to capture it. Unfortunate, I lost a bunch of money. Hmm, and revolt risk increased. But I'm a small child. I can't be responsible for rampaging elephants. Come on, guys. Also, get away from the plague zone here. What is this, anyway? Um, camp fever. So let's not be camped out in the middle of the fever. I got a fever, and the only solution is to leave. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's inherit the divided vice to Sistan. My vice royal. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Uh, Clitter clatter. Hmm. How old am I now? I'm now seven. This is taking so long, man. I want to be an adult. I want to be an adult. I just can't be wait to be emperor. Hmm. All right, uh, my threat is slowly falling still. I guess being a small child means it uh, decays faster. I don't actually know what the calculation for that is. All right, uh, it's 191 months. Uh, castle fortifications, inherited mass recruitment effort. Castle fortifications, uh, converted to Hindu faith. Hmm. Excellent. Ooh, I got a random county over here, right? Yes, I do. All right, um, I want some training grounds here. Join the defensive part. Now, I don't know if uh, becoming the super India guy means um, I get to hold on to uh, what you call it. Um, yeah, I, I need to uh, conquer these directly or not. Uh, claim on Niboar War. Cool. We'll fight amongst yourselves. Ha ho! Zhor hmm. War. Alright. <laughs> um, Alright, we're looking forward to another day of kicking and things like that. I can kick his butt again or you become uh, getting even more diplomacy. I think I'll get more diplomacy, thank you very much. Base uh, diplomacy, that's super high. Yeah, that's that's hard to pass up here. I'm going to go from the most evil emperor to the, the best. Oh, I uh, inherited the, uh, the kingdom of Georgia. Hmm. It's no longer my Zingjun, uh, Zingjun Sima. Yeah, I need to find somebody over here that's really into uh, Georgia. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you are Greek and Hindu. Um, I need to find somebody who reasonably likes me. Hmm, which is maybe none of these fools. This lady seems to care for me. Apparently. A.K.A. she only mildly dislikes me. Um, do I have too many Delchis right now? Do I need to fix that? Um... Kazia. I think... Hmm. I think I shall give Abkhazia to this lady. This young lady here. Um, you are now in charge of Abkhazia. Congratulations. Um, you actually kind of like me now. That's good. Uh, da -da. It's for uh, other options. This guy. Sacrifice royalty of Durbent. Congratulations, you're now in charge of that. Good. Alright, now because this late this girl uh, likes me more than any of these fools around here, I think she is the one who is going to become the new Vice Royal of Georgia. Congratulations, you are now in charge of all of the Georgias. Time for new Zhongjun Sima, my marshal, my more marshaled of peoples. Alright, um, this guy seems to want the job. You get the job. Go train me some troops. <laughs> oh, man. It's the thing with the marshals when they die, you need to get the troops trained again. Oh, but yeah, he, he kind of doesn't care for me. Alright. Now, this will mean, because that person was sort of um, overlord of some, uh, some counts, 
that some of them might start popping up to cause mischief. Hmm. Hmm, raiders! Ah. Hmm. Come on, somebody attack the Umihads. Um, <laughs> Leave the Defensive Pact, join the Defensive Pact. My vassal uh, has requested low rank vassal serve him directly. Um, I, okay, where, where, where is this actually at here? And that's uh, because you're in Bakar. Are you the uh, dude of Bakar? Um, you can have a vassal for a favor. Ha ha ho! And then I inherited Sistan. Cool. Hmm. Um, prevent uh, or force realm peace from your liege. Ask your liege press your claims in a war. Start a law. Vote for your liege. Force acceptance of arranged marriage proposal. All that stuff. Uh, are called arms. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so Sistan is all this stuff. So let's look around. Ooh, do I have any, too many uh, duchies again? Looks like I do. Nadia and Sistan. Sistan itself. So this guy is minus 33, minus 24, minus 29. So this guy seems to be the one who likes me most. So you get to be the the dude of Sistan. Um, ooh, there you go, the duchy, specifically. Um, now, for the $64,000 question, which one of these is least awful is my options. I think the guy I was just giving stuff to is probably the good one. All right, you're going to become the, the Vicerell of Sistan. Make good use of it, please. Ooh, birdies outside. They're flying around. Hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Someday you may get hit by a boulder. Hmm. Um, minor versus uh, seducers formed an alliance with Count Jian Ying of Nandana. Hmm. That's awkward. And. Hmm. Where's this guy at? It's part of the Moltan peoples here. Uh, and you are the person in charge of Moltan, so maybe I'll transfer vassalage of the... Uh, uh, was this uh, Karor? Yeah, you could uh, be in charge of Karor now. So he doesn't bother me. And the Vault explorer. Good, good, good. My vassal Kent Bushkara of Vanadu. This is a lower vassal. Um, where, where is he at? Uh, where, where, where is this guy here? Oh, that might actually not be so terrible. What? Just why are you upset with me? Hmm. Penal administration, control the barony. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think tonight. Now, uh, we'll, we'll uh, get a favor from him. I now have favors from people. This is weird. Try to avoid using uh, the favor mechanics. Because they can get really annoying sometimes. Uh, from lines with that. So, I prefer to rule through terror and might of arms. Um, a delegation the, for your subjects has arrived. Large scale forest clearing work is being done in one of your provinces. Recent illness among the elephants means the uh, peasants don't have enough of the uh, animals to be able to finish in time before the uh, rainy season. season. Uh, they ask you to lend them elephants to speed up the work. Uh, I could uh, spend some money, get some prestige. I can't spare elephants, but I will send some soldiers. Um, or people come upset. I think I'll use this cheaper option here. Yeah. I am a cheap bastard. Hmm. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, I'm planning on doing another uh, essay video, hopefully for Friday. I uh, hope you, uh, you know, are going to check that out. Uh, they, they tend to get maybe more views than my Crusade Kings 2 at this point. It's a little weird. Um, but then again, I don't put out as much CK2 as I used to, and uh, the other stuff's a little more one-off and a little bit more uh, intense. Um, but it'll, and uh, it's, uh, it is also quite divergent from my usual stuff here. I don't plan to go full essay, uh, yeah, if you folks are wondering. I do want to do keep on the gameplay stuff uh, to a certain extent, but I do want to ver diversify my channel a bit. And that's one of the reasons I started doing that. Because, um, yeah, I'll be honest, there are a bazillion gaming channels out there, and until I'm in a position where I can reasonably afford a new computer, I'm not going to be able to compete one way or the other. 
after supper, me and Havanti were uh, supposed to be able to help with, uh, do the dishes, but uh, Havanti hid the, the dirty dishes and wants to go play instead. Hmm. Hmm. I could, um, can bitter rivals may lead to uh, conscientious. Uh, become close friends. Do I care about this lady? She's betrothed to this guy, and they're gonna be several layers deep. I'm going to tell on her, because I don't care. Um, yes. I'm giving me a stewardship plus one, because can become diligent or temperate. Now, if Auntie ran away before I told on him, yeah, you know, her, actually. Uh, the others said I don't have to do all the work alone, but I was a good boy for telling them. All right, uh, I could spend some time learning, or I could uh, gain conscientious. I think I'm going to go... Oh, man. Big stat increases are always so good. Eh, I'll grab conscientious. It's good to have at least some stats, right? Hmm, all right, uh, I think it's time for more buildings. Um, I need a lot more stuff over here. Um, I think a uh, base of barracks would be good, a good option. So mm. here, when you are older, you may get hit by a boulder. Oh, and Goshen Kingdom, other titles. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. All right, well, uh, that's a thing. Uh, Long Lemmy, it's time for you to get um, more education. Uh, you're gonna learn stuff. You're gonna become a, a learning educated person. Could learn to stab people in the back, but I think you'll be better at this. You'll excel at it more. Auto save. I think I want to at least get to the yeah, at least age ten here before I finish up. I'm kind of hungry, so it's probably going to be a super long episode today. But uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get excited about something or we'll keep going. <laughs> you'll probably know by uh, looking at stuff here. All right, uh, well, I, first I want to do this here. Um, because you are obligation to call arms against Captain Lokon the Bulpabad Band. And. Invasion of Kumania. Soldier Invasion of Kumania. And. Uh, the Seljunks are presently fighting a massive war of some sort, it looks like. They're tearing through event spawn troops. I like to see that. Uh, who else you fight? Wait, aren't you one of the ones that I um, can uh, potentially... It's the other guy. Maybe he has, has things on him. I know. Where, where are you? You're, you're this guy here. Um, so you're tr fighting off also a band uh, of uh, dude-type persons. They got 8,000 some dudes. And they're uh, coming in from uh, Tibet here. Um, I shall accept... So, now I need to go and uh, murderize these guys. Thankfully, I have a giant standing army for which to um, deal that. So yeah, there's that. Hmm. Yes. Sultan Mumad the Glorious is at 10% and against everybody, apparently. Um, maybe I should have joined the Defense Pact. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if I got enough thread on him, honestly. Uh, can I can I do that? Hmm. Uh, I can uh, can be at most seventy two percent the size, so I am way too big for uh, for that batter. Um, Bahar Bakjam, the wife of Kagan Kazim the second of the Surhan Kaganate, uh, has been spending some time in Midapur and a nice experience. Yeah, maybe we could become friends, you know. Hmm. The better understanding of Judas. Alright, um, right. so the, the, we got a pact. We got a defensive pact. It's pretty sweet. Don't worry, we'll come in and crush their armies. They'll be great. Some training grounds have been built. Excellent. Alright, um, I'm gonna build some more training grounds. Make our armies more effective. Alright, uh, looks like they're going down this way. What is this war for, anyway? Invasion of Gujarat. Mm. Which is... 
all of this? Part of it? I'm, I don't know. But the autosaves keep me from zooming out, so. Alright, so I think, uh, I think they mean the entire thing here. Alright. So there's that. Well, well, well. A new commander is needed. Alright, uh, somebody who is good at everything, apparently. <laughs> Count of Rothas. I think I'll summon up a little bit of fighting force here. Just a few extra dudes, you know. 15th of March. Alright. Training grounds. Good, good, good. Um, a little more council fortifications, thank you very much. Run, 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 jump. Uh, the joint defensive pact against me. Don't care. Excellent. And we have uh, successfully cap captured Marpo. Oh no, it's Marpo, everyone. Run. Uh, where are you going? Go to Darham. You're going, going all sorts of places. You're going away. That's what you're doing. Kota. Quota. Hmm. Um, I can't fear. Well, sucks to be them. Boy. What do you want? Um, your niece, my niece. Um, no, I'll decline. Instead, I shall. Oh, she has only one eye. What happened to you, lady? Um, um I'm going to have him. Uh, this. Uh, her marry this guy. Yes. My people don't keep bothering me about stuff. And I'll have potentially more heirs to hang around here. There's an heir to Minor Vice Lord Dahala. Cool. Alright, let's go up here and then come back here. We'll just win this war for these guys here. <laughs> We're great. Uh, it's hard work. You see infrastructure promoting people to work. Even, even freaking harder, man. They're just work harder, man. Just keep doing it. It's going to be great. Hmm. Just the city of that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't worry, these adventurers are going to be gone. Hooray! Uh, the uh, the bullpad band invasion of Gujarat has ended, and uh, we've won. I won. All right, let's go uh, send our lovies back home. Excellent, excellent. My giant death armies are uh, looking pretty sweet right now. Let's go send them back home. How old am I? I'm 10. Hmm. Uh, Raiders. I want to look at uh, Miltech real quick. Uh, relative spread. There we go. So we get seeing some cavalryness spreading around here. We actually got pretty good cavalry right here, it looks like. And cavalry. Which is our kind of current level. But we're going to be even better soon. We got over here. That's pretty good too. In Europe, nobody likes horses in Europe, apparently. It's more of a India Middle East thing, apparently. Alright, uh, heavy infantry. Alright, uh, we definitely lagging about behind a bit there. But uh these guys really got Miltech going here. Uh, and uh, finally military organization. We are kind of like the uh, the giant here. I could keep saving up so we can pay for another level of that. And that would uh, allow me to expand my uh, army ridiculously. But I think getting another heavy infantry, or getting the cavalry up one more, then heavy infantry up, and then military organization forward might be the better way to go. That way our troops are fighting more effectively, not necessarily in greater numbers, though greater numbers is also good. Hmm. The threat is under 40. This is weird. Hmm. Prince Lian Gi of Sistan is just the county of... Uh, Shanghai from Sen Ryogi. Hmm. Wait, uh, where was this? Um, Shanghai? Alright, that's, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Wippa, slowly start to respect my rule again. Excellent. Hmm. It's also a good idea to save up a bunch of money. Hmm. Yes, yes, a bunch of money. Hmm. 
Should figure out where these guys should be uh, sorted. Gandara. And this guy. And he's a normal duke. I don't want him to be there. Barracks. I want him to have more, more power. Uh, as a joint defense pact opposing me. Could you stop doing that, people? <laughs> I'm not that bad. Come on. I could do some uh, business in your staying. A little raiding, perhaps, but their, uh, their territory isn't necessarily as well, uh, no money here. And there is that, some other titles. Uh, as I'm out playing by myself and taking breaks to eat some bread, I brought to the kitchen. I suddenly noticed that a young peasant child is staring at me. He looks hungry. Good, uh, kind, content, and trusting. Give me a, no, a plus one diplomacy along the way. Hmm, infectionate. I'll leave before he tries to steal from me. I think I'll uh, try to become affectionate. You shared your bed with the peasant child, and then you played together for several hours before parting ways. He waved happily as you ran home. Oh, this was fun. Nice. I'm affectionate. Yes. Mine of Arsene, Red Lou of uh, Trigata has formed an alliance with my, another... You guys, you owe everything to me, and you're, like, allying against me. It's weird. Hmm. Obviously, everyone who allies is against me. Hmm. I'm starting to channel my, my evil father, after all. Hmm. What to do? Prison some my vice royals. Hmm. Right, uh, vice royals improve relations. Cool. Let's tear to that. It's declared uh, civil war to increase council power. Good on them. Have fun with that. Uh... <laughs> I guess people are going to murder each other by the thousands. Yeah, have fun. Hmm, Duchy of Jangladesh from this guy. Jangladesh, Jangladesh. Uh, cool. Um, so Jangladesh here, um, this guy, he's a, he's a duke. I don't necessarily want him to be doing stuff here. Uh, what What is his uh, main dukedom in Kassai? Kassi. Kassi. He is just sort of all over the place here. Cassie, which is all the way over here. Well, how about... Oops. I look over at your dudes over here, and you're going to be um, slowly picked apart via me giving the Vice Royals uh, title to uh, your your vassals here. Did you, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, you're now in charge of Jangladesh. Oh, your former liege is actually, um, that's all his territory. Well, maybe you should go, um, uh, I don't know, take care of it. Something? I don't know. <laughs> they might usurp each other. I don't know. It could be hilarious. <laughs> hmm. You're supposed to be in charge of this. You're in charge of this. I have a new heir. I have my nephew. Hmm, at age 46, your nephew Longxi died of great pox. Well, I hope he doesn't have a pox on his house here, because that could be trouble for me. All right, um, my nephew is learning to be learning. All right, um, Viceroy of Georgia. Hmm. Um, various duchesses. That could be cool. Oh, this one's quick. That might be a great option here. And Duchess of Radapati. Yes, um, you're going to get betrothed here, marrying a Duchess. Prestige hit, but, you know, whatever. Um, but that will mean another Duchy will come into the family. I uh, decided to accept your suggestion of betrothal. And sure, it might mean the end of your line, you know, and to, you know, replace it with my dynasty as opposed to yours. But, you know, as you do. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Peasants have started to slowly respect my rule. Hmm. Conversions, and it's time to compose a book. Despite only being 11 years old, I can compose a book because um, I have enough money for it. My learning is eight, so <laughs> I'm allowed to do this. All right. Um, I think uh, yeah, we already got some diplomacy books. I think they stack as well, right? Um, keeping field court. Hmm. 
faction at your data. Oh, Four. Call me four. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I will uh, compose a book. Sure, it costs a lot of money, but it's something good investment here. <coughs> Give me. Um, hmm. Um, could do family history or um, intricacies of relationships. I think. Choose a, a theme relating to uh, intrigue, or uh, just something here. Um, Glory of the House of Long, you choose an, a theme not relating to any particular attribute. Hmm. Intrigue's not that great. But um, it is sort of on the average, kind of on the lower end of that. So uh, let's go with just a uh, family history here. I'll do a book report on my family history <laughs> by writing a book that's a report. I'm not sure why I find that hilarious, but it is. All right, uh, where is counties, counts, and things like that? Don't I don't have time for wars of that that level. Hmm. I think I'm going to get myself some uh, some skirmishers here. I'll think about it. Some uh, some more archers. Yes, got a lot of heavy infantry. Got a ton of cavalry. Uh, Six thousand eight hundred light cavalry. One thousand seven hundred heavy. Uh, just adding some uh, elephants and some other stuff in there, and uh, some bad madness here. Yeah, crossbow range as well. Hmm. Camp fever? Oh no, not again! The camp, the camp, it's having a fever. Hmm. Keep has been built. Excellent. I'm gonna keep this one. All right. King uh, Gawivano, the city of kings, used the title of. Uh, Kingdom of Nibor from Duke Karmapala of Kuro. Hmm. Um, so he's now King Guy person. Kingdom of Nibor. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, don't think I care for that, honestly. But, you know. Wait a little bit. I'm going to go and. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just. Sit back for a minute, let the money build up, and then when I bring this episode to conclusion in a few minutes, it's hard to work, increasing the things. Work harder, everybody! Uh, Alright, uh, I'll uh, do a, a spending uh, spree perhaps off screen. Uh, let's go moral defense. And uh, do maybe a little uh, realm organizations, that sort of thing. Training grounds, excellent. Auto save. The Arcanese Mountains. Yeah, we claim all of Myanmar as well. It's great. All right, uh, it's time for me to finish my education. Um, and I'm going to become good at the diplomacies here because I want everyone to love me. Love me and despair. This lady. Hmm. There's a duchy of that. Now you've got your title. Hmm. A member of a rebel alliance and a traitor, all that fun jazz. Here's the title of Jarkan. Cool. Can't wait until I'm an adult so I can take away all this land for people. <laughs> um, I got a new regent. My mom died. Murdered the order of Princess Miao Jizen of Orissa. Hmm. Well, thankfully you're uh, not that guy. Um, the point of regent here. All right. So that means I need a new spy master. Hmm. Somebody who doesn't want me dead, preferably. Um, how about this lady, my niece? She seems pretty cool. Um, I think, yeah, just uncovering plots for the time being would be a good idea. Just keep doing general stuff. Sniff around for people that are up to no, no good. Especially those trying to murder me. Or people that might want to go into rebellion that I need to have a reason to arrest. You know, that sort of thing. Hmm. This guy. He's got a supporter. Hmm. <laughs> Gravel kind succession in the Bengal Empire. Because reasons. Uh, successional in Ta Tamil Ka Kam? Um, no. <laughs> Why would we ever? Hmm. Would I gain some territory and not even notice it? Or is this, these guys uh, moving their way into you staying here? 
A son was born to Luo Segru uh, and Long Ying named Reneg. Um, well, we're going to call this one Percy. Remember, guys, if you want to put a name down for Children of the Realm, make sure to do that in the comments. This guy no longer have any marriage ties. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. All right, I want to get to a thousand bucks and I'll call it. Hmm. Of course, I'll probably get a bunch of events before that preventing me from doing such, and then I'll just call it anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of people who want, don't like this guy. Hmm. How's your death war going? Uh, I got a peasant revolt. Let's do. You have, uh, you know, cell junks have uh, expanded again. Hmm. Don't think I much care for their their, their antics here. Thankfully, their event spawn troops are a bit reduced. Uh, I've learned that most people are kind. It brings the benefit to walk with mistrust and suspicion. So I became uh, I became trusting. So I minus to my intrigue, but a plus to my diplomacy, which is kind of nice. All right, uh, then there's conscientious. Love to get me some del diligent here. I'd also, love to see the Sildrings destroyed. Consumption has broken out in uh, Vatapi. Uh, lines between those dudes. And a duchy of thingmajigs. A duchy of thingmajigs. You know, that old adage. Hmm. Oh. Why is it costing so much month right now? Hmm. Are any levies up? I really shouldn't, but... Uh, yeah, no, they're all, all put away. Hmm. So there's boats. No. New or some trying, the people of Dalam uh, hang their heads in grief as their leaders return with devastating news. Since his initial order attack, Caliph Kazim has suffered a crushing defeat against the Sao Empire. Meanwhile, uh, Jurchen armies are celebrating their victory. Finally declared, they are bound to, along with their magnificent emperor, and still fear the many Assyrians at heart. So a caliph, uh, the caliph of the uh, of the Shiites, has been uh, defeated, and uh, his uh, you know, the king of Delam is um, from Persia, and uh, Transoxiana, and um, in Turkestan, and Kashmir, <laughs> all these places where he doesn't really have much power right now. He has a you know a king of Delam. Uh, on his, uh, 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 in his, uh, you, know, you know, situation. That's him. <laughs> Cutting myself as the only as a ruler, so I have one ruler in my court. <laughs> um, so yeah, this guy is um, a little, uh, a little reduced here. The dragon is not to be toyed with. <laughs> so um, he's now a, uh, um, he's now a, a truce here. So yeah. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about, but cool. <laughs> Emperor Long Octavius a, a Dragon is an heir to the Duchy of Gangavadi from Duke Pankavan, the Lord of Dang Gangavadi. Alright, so uh, where is this Gangavadi place here? It's apparently right here. That's what's up here. Minus 40, minus 65, minus 14, and 14 positive. Oh. Well then, hmm. I think I shall, and I can't make you the vice royal, so I'll do it for this child here. Would you like to be a vice royal? Gang of baddies, it's all yours now, man. Have fun. You like me now. You really, really like me. Hmm. That's my threat. Twenty-eight percent. Cool. Grab loot and pillage. And 1,000 gold. I think I'll round out to the end of the year, just to press a little forward on time, because I'm now 13 years old. And next episode, we'll uh, come of age, hopefully, unless we're murder or something like that. And then we're going to see about reshaping the world. My lord begins a note from Chief Minister of Israel, Chandramukhavarman. Second, the writing of your manuscript has come to a halt. Our eldest scholars and most experienced guides passed away. Recommends investing in a new scribe or risk lowering the quality of work. All right. I'll pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Another reason it goes the end of the year. News from China. Tending and forces the subjugation of the Treaty of State of the Zalem by the Protector General Soli of the Western Protector has declared war upon with Gil's 
with Gilson, Rich Friedig. Uh, Jurchen armies are already marching towards the realm of Grand Chief with, uh, with Gils. And it seems possible this spells the end of the Danish independence. Sheepers, they in Grand Chief of Denmark. China's invading Denmark. May their gods protect them. <laughs> Seriously? They're invading Denmark. Denmark. Sheepers. Sheepers, man. It's, uh... You, you, these guys are sporting 20,000 size army, so I guess they can get away with it. Just a little ridiculous when you think about it. China has reached all the way to Denmark. <laughs> Just one more, you know, you know, you know fight after that, and you, know, you got the Holy Roman Empire under their their uh, their thumb. What's next? Byzantium, Umians, me even? Man, why don't you guys just fight the Seljuks? Do me a favor, you know. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna bring this episode to a silly conclusion. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. This is explaining Crusader Kings Two: Dragon of the Dragon Throne. Until next time, um, check out my Patreon down below. Hit that like button, subscribe bell. You know the uh, drill by now. Because everyone on YouTube drills you down this stuff here. And always do remember, it really does help me out. Um, so, until next time, everybody. Toodles! Woohoo!